Hey, it's Rabbi Alex. You might not recognize me because I have my new reading glasses on. I actually can't see through them if I go like this. Uh, but I have reached the age of reading glasses. We, people always told me, once you get past 40, forget it, you're gonna need reading glasses. But before, when I didn't have them on, if I'm looking at a book at night, I can't see a word of it. I'm straining, I'm struggling, and as soon as I put these reading glasses on, voila, all the words become crystal clear. It's amazing. Uh, we actually have a ceremony every Saturday night uh, called Havdalah. And Havdalah is about this desire that we have to distinguish between dark and light. Sorry, let me just put this down for a second. So this is a Havdalah candle. I'm going to show you what it looks like for a second, lighting it up. Uh, it, it, the role of a Havdalah candle, you can see it's many different candles at once, and Havdala, or Havdala, uh, which means distinction. Just like my glasses help make distinction and allow me to see the letters, so a Havdala candle lets me see the letters. And you can see, just having the light opens up your eyes. So I'm going to blow this out so we don't burn down Cantor's office. <laughs> uh, but you can see the idea, oh, I can't see you. Uh, and uh, we also get spices, and we have the Kiddush cup as well. This one's not full, but we drink a little bit wine. Uh, in this week's Torah portion, Shmini from Leviticus, uh, we have a section where a terrible accident occurs, and the sons of Aaron, Danda, Nadav and Avihu, Nadav and Avihu, end up consumed in flame. It's a terrible tragedy in front of everywhere. And right afterwards, there is uh, this thing that it tells the priests they're not allowed to drink. Uh, and you kind of understand that maybe that was the problem with Nadav and Abihu, is that they were drinking. Uh, and when we think about drinking, we, so we think of all sorts of problems that come up today. Uh, with excessive drinking. But actually, they were thinking about something a little different. They were thinking of Havdalah, separating. When you drink, it dulls your senses. It takes your reading glasses off of your eyes. It prevents you from seeing the little details in life. These little details are incredibly important. Not only do they prevent accidents when you're clear in your mind and your senses, but they also allow us to see and feel the world in such a different way. And in Judaism, we should always, if we need, wear our reading glasses, allow ourselves the best opportunity to really decipher between dark and light between holy and the rest of the week, uh, and allow us to really feel the fullness of life. That's why we have a ceremony like Havdalah. Uh, that's why reading glasses, I think, are a Jewish thing, and that's why we should be wary of excessive drinking. Uh, anyways, a good week. I hope that you use your eyes in a wonderful way to see this beautiful world of ours. Take care. Shabbat Shalom.